That was for good measure. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Any announcements you'd like to share? We ask that you keep the Enixon family in your prayers. The flowers are in celebration of Elmer's life, and we pray and lift him to the church triumphant. Also, please keep in your prayers Martha Steinecker, who's at Rochester Manor now, and Dorothy Altenball, who's been in the hospital, and Vera Anderson, and Dan, Brenda, and Lonnie. Any other prayers you'd like to mention? Thank you, Janet. Any other announcements? The yearly statements of giving um, are ready to be mailed out. Kay asked me if I would announce for her if everybody could maybe donate one or two stamps to her to mail those out. Um, the second announcement is we have community table this Thursday. Grace Church is hosting. And we have some food items that we're still in need of. So there's a, a sign-up sheet in the back on the bulletin board. If you could help us out with some of those food items, uh, we would really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just so you're aware, not this week, but next week is Shrove Tuesday. That's the night. We have our usual uh, pancake supper with pancakes and sausage, and we have a special entertainment with the um, Echo Valley Bluegrass Group. Uh, it's a family of nine children. Uh, they are very talented. If you are able to go on to our church's website or into the uh, Grace Visitor that's online, there's a, a uh, website that you can actually go to their website and look at their pictures and some information on them. But I think you'll be very entertained. So I would encourage you to come to Shrove Tuesday. That's the night at 6 o'clock. Thank you. And I can vouch for the blueberry pancakes. Oh, hey, sorry. wait a minute. <laughs> We're a tag team today. Um, last week, we started in an effort uh, to survey the congregation of the many talents that you have that you could share through different ministries we do here at the church. These green folders, or green flyers rather, are in the back of the church. If you could take a moment to maybe check off a few areas that you have an interest in, maybe, maybe you've never even done some of these things, uh, that would be a great help here. Uh, it is a leap year, so take a leap of faith and um, get involved. Uh, make sure you have your contact information. When you're done, you can just simply put these in the collection plate. Uh, secondly, the adult senior group, ages 55 and older, and it doesn't, it doesn't specify men or women, it's both, um, meet the second Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the um, lounge downstairs. And we will be celebrating Valentine's Day with a chocolate fest. And after we're all hyped up on chocolate, we're going to be putting together uh, Valentine care kits to send to our homebounds folks. So uh, appreciate if you could come out. And speaking of homebound, there's a listing of homebound um, members in your visitor that come out comes out regularly. If you could take, if you have an extra Valentine, if you could send to one of those people, you know, we all appreciate a Valentine. So please take a moment to do that. Thank you. Your turn. Good morning. Next week is the Super Bowl, but more importantly, it's the Super Bowl of kindness. Right after this service, uh, please bring a pot of soup or dessert to share. And um, the Bible Bowl team is sponsoring this event to give a little kindness to our neighbors with uh, donations to the Crossroads Men's Shelter with uh, donations kind of like this, instant macaroni, instant macaroni and cheese, ramen, things like that, and also monetary donations. So thank you for your help and also I look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks.
Please stand as we continue our worship. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who creates us and forms us, who redeems us and calls us, who unites us and sends us. Gathered in God's presence, we confess our sin. Mighty and loving God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We seek our own way. We divide the body of Christ. In your mercy, cleanse us and heal us. Let the words of our mouths, the thoughts of our hearts, and everything that we do be filled with faith, hope, and love. Hear the voice of Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord is upon us to proclaim release to the captives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we proclaim that we are forgiven. Our sins are gone. We are released. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The gifts of the Holy Spirit are ours forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
Amen. Let us pray together. Almighty and ever-living God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and love, that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. The first reading is from Jeremiah, the first chapter, verses 4 through 10. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a boy. For you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. We'll read together Psalm 71, verses 1 through 6. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. In my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. The second reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 1 to 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. <clears throat> love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in the mirror dimly, 
but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Holy Gospel is written in the fourth chapter of Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Then Jesus began to say to all in the synagogue in Nazareth, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They said, Is not this Joseph's son? Jesus said to them, Doubtless you will quote to me this proverb, Doctor, cure yourself. And you will say, Do here also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did in Nahum's village. And he said, Truly I tell you, no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown. But the truth is, there were many widows in Israel in the time of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a severe famine over the land. Yet Elijah was sent to none of them except to a widow at Zarephath in Sidon. There were also many lepers in Israel in the time of the prophet Elisha, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. When they heard this, all in the synagogue were filled with rage. They got up, drove Jesus out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built, so that they might hurl him off the cliff. But Jesus passed through the midst of them and went on his way. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Are there any kids to join me? Hello. Did you have a good party yesterday? Yes? All right. Hi. You even have stuff from the goodie bags. Are you going to share with us? Okay. Just us, not them. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Hello. I need a volunteer, okay? So pick a number between one and ten. Nine. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. The number's two. <laughs> the birthday girl. Come on up. All right. Now, you know this young lady, right? Yes, she's my sister. She's your sister. She's already three now. She's three. Are you three? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you know her name? I do. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay. We know, Elizabeth, we know that you're three. Uh, we know that you have a sister who won't share her candy with us. I do. What? Huh? I share my candy What else do we know about Elizabeth? Um, let's see. Elizabeth, do you think she, she, likes, she likes minions? Minions? I can mm -hmm. throw. I eat minions. Mm. I can throw. Ah, oh, see. She had a minion party. Yet. Uh huh. Um, Elizabeth probably is looking forward to going to school. Hmm. When you get older, hmm? going to college, maybe getting married, <laughs> having fifteen children, <laughs> right? Now, did you know this about Elizabeth? Elizabeth can go from here to that wall without touching the ground. She can touch that wall from here. Did you know that? Did you? 
You don't know that about Elizabeth? Elizabeth, let's show them. Here she goes. <laughs> touch that wall, Elizabeth. Can you touch it? Can you touch it? Ah! She did it. You didn't know that about her? her. Yeah, she did it though. She did all the work. I didn't touch the wall. I don't blame you for wanting to go away. <laughs> did you know Elizabeth can heal people? Huh? Do you believe that about Elizabeth? Yes. See, now you're a believer. Huh? Well, everybody knew who Jesus was, right? Who was his mom and dad? Do you remember Jesus' mom and dad? Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary, right? And Joseph was a carpenter. Everybody knew this about Jesus, okay? In his hometown. And so when he came and claimed to be God's son, they were like, no. No way. He can't be. And they didn't believe him. They didn't trust him. All right? But we are gathered in Jesus. And we trust him and believe that he is God's son. He is God. Amen? All right. Thank you, God. For helping us to believe and trust in you. Amen. Amen. Thanks for your help. Anybody else want to fly? Me. <laughs> Get out of here. Well done, Elizabeth. Thank you. Abigail has prizes for everyone, I hear. <laughs> prizes.